Um, you know, I, th I think if I had my choice, I'd rather, rather, much rather say awkward nonsense. I like being liked. I'm addicted to being liked. So, but there is something freeing about playing an asshole too. Because in real life, I am a very nice person, and I do care what people think about me. And so it's freeing to play the guy who doesn't give a crap about what people think of him. And you know, so there, there is something in that, just being able to play that guy who's like, <laughs> You know, it's like fun to step into that. Then after I play that guy, I'm always fun to sleep. As soon as they yell cut, I'm like, okay, was that okay? Is that okay? I'm so sorry. Did I make you upset? <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I'd rather play the likable guy. I love on Supernatural that I'm on the good guy's team, you know. But uh, yeah, but there's that, I'd be lying if I didn't say that the other was fun. Because it is. And I didn't die, right? This is the answer it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Hi. How's it going? Good. Um, have you seen me before? Um, yeah. No, but I mean, later, later, you know. You look familiar, yeah. <laughs> Great. I'm glad we had this talk. No, I brought my case this morning. That's what it was. That's what it was. See? I'm like, never forget a face. Um, What's up? I have a pretty serious question. I've been wanting to ask you this for like 10 years now. So, uh, oh, yeah. If you were Felicity, better or not. For a while, that's my question. That's awesome. That's the Is Chuck God question of 1999. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, here's my answer. I definitely think you you date Ben and you marry Noel, right? Now, in real life, Scott Stevens is like one of my best friends. So I think I chose I chose Ben. Pretty sure. Huh? Wrong answer. <laughs> but I think that if you're a smart girl looking for a guy, I think you got to marry Noel. Yeah. Right? So he's the guy you got to go with me. Well, but as a buddy, I, I like I Ah, that's my best. But hey, no one ever picked Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Richard was annoying and not always awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's awesome. Thanks for remembering. <laughs> Oh, cool. Very cool. Yeah, Scott Foley was Noel, and he's the nice guy, and Scott Stevens was Ben, he's the sort of, you know, dark, scary, you know, the guy that, the guy you date, who's going to leave you and break your heart. Always. <laughs> 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 okay, go ahead. Move around a lot, but you keep talking. <laughs> okay. Um, I have two questions. Assuming that you um, are God on the show. Okay. The first is, um, did you know from the beginning, like, did Crip or any of the um, crew or writers let you know that you would be such an important character later on, that you would have such an impact, like a godlike character? And the second is, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure, I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that actually um, uh, his necklace was around Chuck. And Pascal has said that in the presence of God it burned hot, and that never happened. So I was wondering if that was not true, or if that just didn't happen because God can just not make things happen, or <laughs> what were your thoughts on that? What was the thing? Was the necklace around what? Who's neck? Um, the intending Pascal yeah. took it at the beginning of the season, because yeah. in their search for God, it's supposed to be hot in the right. presence. Right, right, but and it wasn't was when he was around me. Yeah. yeah, good question. I don't know the answer to that. I'm sure that we could mine that and figure something out that, you know, makes that make sense. But I, I think that, um, but in terms of what I knew, uh, I didn't, all I knew was that it was a prophet. And, uh, and then uh, I got the script as to the last episode. And, uh, you know, I, it, I read it and I wasn't even quite sure what just happened. And then I fly up to Vancouver and I go to the plane and literally the person picking me up at the airport was like, so you're God. Seriously, you're God. Like, I, I, I really, is that, I missed that. And, uh, and then I get on set and everybody, the writers, the crew, everybody's like, yeah, so you're God. And I guess there was, there were scenes that were, that were deleted from the draft that we didn't even shoot that made it even more clear. But I think, again, you wanted it to be a little less, uh, a little up to interpretation in the end. But, um, Yes, yeah, so no, I didn't know until, you know, and then I called Eric because I was like, dude, seriously, you don't even tell me, I just like have to find this out. And that's when he sort of, we talked about it a bit. But, uh, yeah, and then uh, we shot it, and then I was like, I don't know if the fans are going to get that 
because it's not like you draw it out for you. I changed my costume, it's kind of all white, but that, that was about it. Sure enough, as soon as it aired, like, the message boards were all a flutter. <laughs> <laughs> and some people got it. Um, but yeah, I mean, definitely it's the sort of thing that's kind of fun to go back and then look at Chuck's journey and find little, like the Mistress Magda thing, or just little things that he says that are kind of God-like. Um, it was one of the first things he says in my first episode. is like, well, that's it. I guess I'm God. And he's like, you're not God, Chuck. Um, so, uh, but yeah, in terms of the necklace, I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're just wrong. <laughs> okay, um, thank you so much for coming. We love you, you rock. Wait, I love you too, thank you. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like, oh, right. I mean, so, uh, I have a question related to your band. Okay, cool. Uh, when you subscribe to the team, we get an email um, saying, hey, thanks for joining. And it also says something about uh, sharing an ice cream and going on a bike ride. Okay. When is that going to happen? <laughs> um, so we had something like that last night and you weren't there. Oh no! Yeah. You had an ice cream night? Yeah, we had like a dessert party. Dude, I was, not, I was like on the plane. I know. I got on the red eye last night. Man, I You're going to disappoint a lot of fans if your band doesn't hold up to that. I know, you're right. I, we're gonna, we're, we'll pull through for that. What we did do is we did a, like a live web chat. Um, or some of the street teamers. That really anybody in the room for that? Yay! Oh, awesome. Yeah, we did these. We're going to be doing more of that. We do these like we set up the video camera so you can type in questions and we're all live answering. And then we just set up the studio so we can actually play live for you too. Because you know we get fan requests to play you know around the world, but we can't always of course go there. So um, we're going to try to make that happen. So we got that in the works. And if we could find a way to have virtual ice cream and <laughs> virtual bike rides. <laughs> no, really, the plan is, and you know, I've been talking to the crazy guys about this, the plan is to bring the band with us to more of these conventions, because we played in L.A. <laughs> yeah, we absolutely love to, and if you haven't seen us play, it really is a good time, and, um, I, we, you know, don't disappoint, and it's, you know, so we, we will come, and if I bring them, we got to hold those guys to that. Because they, they put that out there and they 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 they, they owe you that. Um, but yeah, so we'll be back. We'll definitely be back. And we'll be playing one of these conventions because we played in LA and it was really really awesome, really great on this kind of stage, like this. So anyway, I owe you that. What kind of what kind of ice cream do you like? I'm vegetarian, so. All right. So that's a start. Great. Okay. We'll have gelato. Okay, bye. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like for our first date, it was a lot I don't know. Should I call her? <laughs> oh, hi. Hi. Um, I just okay, I was wondering, um, what do you think the major differences are in your experience between being at conventions you know, in reality and when you filmed the episode that you were at a convention in the show? Yeah. You know, like... Yeah, totally. Yeah, like, just, you know, just what you thought is similar or different, you yeah. know, whatever. Yeah, the funny thing about the question, the funny thing about that was right after that aired was my very first convention in Chicago last year. So, so, yeah, so it aired on Thursday night and Friday I'm on the plane in Chicago. So I had not even experienced one yet. And my first thought was like, wow, there are a lot more people here in real life. Uh, you know, that didn't go, that was about, you know, I don't know, a fourth of the way back where you guys are now. And, and uh, the other thing was there were a lot of guys, a lot more guys in the TV version. <laughs> a lot more guys in the TV version. And they were all dressed up, everybody was dressed up in costumes. So there's not as much of that. Nobody's dying, there are no ghosts. So. <laughs> uh, but yeah, definitely when I went to the first one in Chicago, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect, you know? I was like, what am I getting myself into? You know, because the, the way that it's portrayed on the TV it was a little bit, you know, odd. <laughs> but that's all because it was Chuck. I imagine Chuck is the entire, that's he's your keynote speaker. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so this is a lot. Uh, this is awesome. I was blo I've been blown away by every one of these. This is great. The love is all good and real, and, and you guys are crazy, but then if you 